Good morning, good morning, Chicken Coop Chronicles. Out. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And no snowball, and we need blacking. All right, let's let these fellas out. Good morning, good morning. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Oops. I'll get that later. Good morning, Daisy, Autumn, Blackie, Phantom, Speckles, Sophia. All right, let's take a look at everybody in here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Look at them, oh see, they're getting the tamer. I've been working with them a lot to get them used to being picked up. Good morning, good morning, come here. Look at that wing. Look at their wings and their tails are coming in. Hello, mama. Mm, you're such a good mama. I'm gonna try and pick one of them up. Show them to you in detail. Come here. Yeah, so good. Yeah, so good. So good. Come here. Let's take a look at the wing. Look at that beautiful wing. Yeah, she's so good. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Hi. Right. Look at this little one. Look at this little one. Such a cutie. Such a cutie. There you go. All right. Everybody's grown accustomed to having a, a bit of a treat so in the morning so come 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 there we go and these guys rush over too it was great so they know the magic word they're fast chickens are so fast you know every time i interact with chickens i'm always i mean sad to say i'm always surprised by how smart they are and i always learn something more come come I always learn something new about how smart they are, too. For example, last night, when I came to lock them up, I was a little late, and it was already dark, and Minnie had gotten all the chicks upstairs, and she was cuddled up with them. But I took them out to count them. You know, I, I moved her, and I counted, and I found only nine. So I got a little worried, so I did another count, and I brought Minnie out. And anyhow, we were cuddling a bit, and it was fun. And then, so I had Minnie on me, and then Minnie jumped off me and fell straight to the ground. And my thought was, oh, why didn't you just spread your wings a little bit? You would have landed on the shelf where your chicks are. But then when I went to get her, she had spied, at night, with very little light, her two little baby chicks that were missing they'd gone in the lower coop door instead of the upper coop door and so she jumped down to see them she seems okay now. Oh, I was honestly a little worried that she might have broken something with the fall but she seems okay so, yeah. such good chickies so good little bit of grass they're growing. It's from all the seeds actually, which is awesome. I'm not sure what type of grass it is, but it's some sort of grain. Rye or millet or something. So good. All right, I'm gonna check the water. They probably need a refill. 
Yeah, you guys need more water. I'm gonna get you more water. Be right back. And then they also did like some more grain. They have plenty of grain. All set for grain. How about this? All set for food. There we are. All right, let me, let me feed the... Well, hello, you lot. That's so cute. So cute. Let me get the bigger ladies. Wait. Uh, uh, not letting you out. There we go. Okay. Now, these little buggers, they're smart. They figured out how to get underneath here. No matter what I do, they figure out a way around it. Anyhow, that's it for Chicken Food Chronicles. I'll just bring them back some water, and that'll be it. They were thirsty. They were really, really thirsty. Brought them water and that was about 30 seconds of them just drinking nonstop. More like a minute. Sorry I didn't get it all on camera. It was the cutest thing. It really made me wonder, how do chickens learn? Or chicks, how do they learn how to drink water? You know, I mean, that's a big thing. Drinking water from a dish, bending down, getting it in your beak and lifting your head up. How do you learn to drink? And I think that it's similar to the way humans learn other things like swallowing. It's pretty much instinct. I've got here a mixture of corn in. Uh, I mixed the seed with corn. I need them to like corn. Because uh, corn's a really good food at night. In the winter. Uh, at night, sorry. They're still drinking, see that? There's one little fella who was over there. He didn't even bother to come and drink. He or she they had a worm. Oh, see that fella running? He's got a worm. It was a pretty wet day yesterday. And last night and this morning it was pretty moist. And so the worm should be out. Hid behind the log. Yeah, these guys are mostly in shade, so I gotta lop some branches so that they'll all get some sun. Um, they'll get some sun later on during the day as well. This side is okay. This side, the bigger guys need more sun. Oh yeah, there's a lot of shade in there right now, and it really should be more sunny at this time of day. They have this big, um, it's called a Russian olive, or autumn olive, and produces these little berries with a big stone in it, quite nice actually. And um, that gives them shade when they need it. And for the other side of the coop, they have this thing here that gives them shade when they need it, but they, they also need to have some sun. And right now they only have dappled sun, so I'm going to cut a few branches and uh, get them a little more sun. There, a few snips later, and same spot, about the same time of day, it's been about 10 minutes, and they have a lot more sun. That's good, that's what it needs to be. Well, that's it for today's Chicken Coop Chronicles.